I'll get a chance to get up in here. What's up, Gav? What's good? Hey, can y'all tell me how this audio coming through? I'm not sure if this Bluetooth is linked up. What's up, Ro? Oh, Will. What's up, man? Y'all let me know if this audio coming in. Y'all can hear me. Because you know I'm dropping a little game. Y'all see I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. I'm in the trenches. What the audio be like? Sound good? Okay, appreciate you, Walker. Out here getting it in. But get what? Tasha Haven ain't in Alabama today. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. What's up, Jay? What's going on, man? Mac, what's up, Mac? We uh, heal the heart, my guy. Y'all walk with me, talk with me, chill with me for a moment, and just take a look at what's going on out here today. Mystery, mystery, mystery. Where is the high shot haven today? You know, he's been going Jackson to. Uh, Tonight, here last night, pulling for UPS. Ooh, big power move there, boy, guys. It ain't nothing like having your own, though, boy. Hey, much, much blessing and, and, and safe travels and high-paying loads to you, bro, on your endeavor, for real, for real. But what I can't talk to you about today is what you finna run into right now as you ease out here. I don't care if you in a high shot, non-CDL, CDL, semi Little red wagon and 10 speed bike. I'm out here in well sunny Florida. Hey, bro, yeah. Hey, sunny Florida. Hmm. What are you doing in sunny Florida? Doing what they say can't be done. Run one in here and run one out of here. Combined total, fourteen hundred miles, a little bit over fifty-seven hundred dollars. Nine hour one way, nine hour the other way back to the house, going thirty-three miles from my house. I came out here with a load of angle line from Newcore out of Flowood, Mississippi, drop out Ocala, Florida, six hundred and eight miles, two hundred dollars. And uh, before I got halfway to Florida, why they still talking about what ain't possible in Florida, it ain't never no afraid of Florida, I done showed y'all a bunch of times, a bunch of video where I come out of Florida with a load every time. I ain't never did head out of Florida to Georgia to get nothing, nothing. Hey, hey, y'all, hey, who that was trying to call my phone just then, y'all? I told him I'm on live right now at the very moment. Oh, hi, shy Dave out there hustling, grind with that nine bum BP to build. Shout out, hi, shy Dave out there hustling. By any means necessary to grind on top and to the point where if you can't get it one way, you get it another way, you get it another way, and you get it another way. But what's going on out here, what can be quantified in dollars in the bank, is a friend on this flatbed market, the build material. Uh, I'm out here. What's up, hyper promotion? What's up, Speedy Gonzalez? What's up with it? Chilling, man. Out here chasing a mean one. I'm talking about a mean one. Two days, bump, 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 a uh, bump, bump for the fifth self, huh? And a little chain. Hmm. What's up, brother? Yes, sir. Bump, bump, a uh, bump and a bump for the fifth self day. Hey, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, boy, where they don't want to go, Dave. You got, you know you got to do what they don't want to do. What would they call that? Crane mat operation. Woo, crane mat operation. 48,000 pounds of, of, of wet lumber. And I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Then y'all know that 
this stuff is everywhere. You ain't got to be no rocket scientist, but you really need to learn how to charge. If you don't know how to charge, I'm going to go over there one more time. Take your total cost analysis of everything you're going to do for a year. And if you plan on running 100, 150,000 miles, divide that by that number. Come up with you a cost per mile and figure out what you need to do to make a buzz and a beyond what it takes to see a profit. Dude, Dave, how should I Dave? He know I ain't lying. Get what Dave said, y'all, in the comment. Dave said he got a load of crane mats right now. I'm talking about Ed Weech B. He let him and get what? I'll be in courtesy and let him go first. But uh, I'm next in line and I'll be out of here. And get what? Got a mean clock in here to me. I know how to time it. I know how to time the drop offs and the pickups and how far away they are. I get what? I still got, listen to me good. Y'all see what time it is today? I still got nine hours and 46 minutes worth of drive time on a nine hour run. Somebody say I'll be back in the house for uh for tomorrow morning. Because get what? They go 33 miles from my house, and I got to pass my house to get to it, which is 33 miles shorter than the route. So get what? I'm going to get there 30 minutes before time. So I'm going to have plenty of time to just throw this over here. I got baby doll in the truck with me. We ride. We out here ride. But I'm coming here to show you, man, this type of market, you can't ask for a better market right now. If a person out here can't understand how to get a dollar, you must can't count. Simply that. It's simply that. What's going on here? Everybody has been cleared to come themselves back and fulfill these obligations that have been made way back in 2019. I dropped out Angle Line to a trailer manufacturer. I tried to buy AK Axle from them too. They ain't had it yet. They ain't had it yet. But I dropped off a, a, a 48,000 pound load of Angle Iron earlier today. For some people that say, we're making orders for the stuff that we didn't do in 2020 that was ordered at the end of 2019. Just like I told you in previous videos, all them folks that were telling y'all, hey, if you order a trailer from us, it's going to be six to eight weeks out. They was a six to eight week lie, and they can tell that same lie to their mammy, somebody that love them, that want to hear that shit. And I told y'all that. When I was looking for an axle way back in June of 2020 and couldn't get one, I told y'all this. When I burned my arm later on in the year, September, couldn't get an axle. I told y'all this. And I said, just like you can't get it, when it come back in, in into being in existence and the materials are available, it will be a frenzy. And get what? It's a frenzy. I ran, I'm telling you now, I ran some just plain old angle iron. It was heavy. Mm-hmm. About $5.30 cent a mile down here. Finna grab this right here. Who ever heard of some pieces of wood they use to roll their cranes over? Yada, yada, yada. Four dollars a mile. All day long. That's what I'm doing. Four dollars a mile. Mm-hmm. So I'm just back home. Y'all having fun today? Damn right, man. Hell yeah. So I told y'all, man, we out here with it. it. If they say America broke, I want to know who stole it all, because it's some money out here. I hear folks talking a whole lot of stuff about the president and him having all this money out here, and when we gonna have to pay it back, they gonna add it to the deficit like they have been doing. Taxes gonna keep going up like they have been going up. They ain't never went down. When taxes went down? Ever, any administration ever. When taxes ever went down? They say I stole it all. <laughs> when taxes ever went down? So get what? While they talking about the money, at the same time, everybody keep accepting the money. See, I ain't got nail down from it. I don't want none of it. Get what? Don't need it. I know how to grind. I ain't studying their money. But get what? At the end of the day, ain't nothing wrong with that. Because it helped 
get some people back where they need to be that weren't able to grind like I was able to grind during that COVID season. But I will say this, they can hush their mouth there talking about the money out here and what's going to be done with it because guess what? That same money they talking about, these folks are gladly accepting. And many times that they can get it and reapplying and try and get what left over from that last time. Get what? I don't need your money. I just need this shit right here to keep doing what they doing. I don't need your money. So don't, don't, don't need it. Mm-mm. Now I'm dying mud. And I've been preaching it from the door. And this unorthodox. I don't suggest you do this. I've been running this business off cash for the last three years. I ain't never had no credit line for my business. I ain't never had no ME card for my business. I ain't even got a food card unless it go to the food station. I ain't dealing with the credit card people and nothing on certain stuff. To the point where I don't suggest you do that. But if you on the ground all the time, you understand why I say if the truck ain't paying for everything, I quit. Because it's supposed to. And anything other than that, irrelevant, illogical. And get what? It don't make sense. So like I, like I said, when you get through, this going to be based up on your ability to see what that costs to move you. What it costs you to move. What it costs you to move it and put up maintenance. What it costs you to move it and pay yourself. What it costs you to move it and have some money to fuck off on the weekend and move it for that. And when you set your price, sometimes it sounds unreasonable. Like when I told them I want $3,200 for the bring, bring that steel down here that normally don't pay number about $3, $3.50 a mile. I want $5.30. Get what they say. It need to get down there so bad we can't argue with it. Can't argue with it. Don't nobody else want to go that way. See, these folks laid up on game. They think the fuel is still doing this, that, and the other fuel doing what they're supposed to do. All I said, read sometime. If you read sometime, you'll know what's going on a little bit ahead of the game. You start to notice a trend out here. And get what? I told y'all. Week ago, week and a half ago, two, three weeks ago, when that fuel did what it did, get what? Discouraged a lot of people from going over there to the eco. Get what backed up some freight. Hmm, what that mean? Freight I already behind, and then something like that happened, which is catastrophe. And straight back up the whole area. You got people sitting at the truck stop, don't know when they're gonna be able to go to their next destination with or without these people stuff on the truck because they couldn't move. So, get what that little hiccup, the hiccup, the hiccup in the market. Where you at, hot shot, Dave? We're exploiting everything. Spank them on the ass every chance I get, boy. I ain't gonna let them make it. See, that's the problem. All this favor shit, I told them the other day, Dave. These brokers ain't your friend. All this favor, this back haul, I told these folks, I don't give a damn who you is, how long you been doing this stuff. If I hear you holler about it, it's a back haul one more time, I'm gonna call you out by name and say you're a goddamn fool. Got to be a damn fool. The broker don't know where you live. That load got to move regardless of whether you pick it up and take it to your house or if somebody come through, passing through, and pick it up and take it by your house. It don't matter. A load is 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 a load. Pensacola, Florida. Boy, I was up that way. I was up that way a little while ago. I'm down here in Sample right now. Going to pull on up out here probably by another. Mm. Wait, they looking over there probably by another hour and a half. See, I'm going to tell you, them mats right here, let's see, stacked up. Let's see if I can point to it. That stack right there, stack of wood. All this area right here in this trench, down this whole trench, was wooden mats. Hey, Z Holland, what's up, baby? They lined this whole area with wooden platforms so that their cranes and other materials could come down through here and they could run the fiber out the cable and put these little marker posts right there. And also, there's the same trench that they use to run the high pressure, high, my not high pressure, high voltage power line that I am standing underneath 
and probably get some kind of ill effects to my health because you can hear these things humming. They humming. But we out here. Like I said, you can't really just imagine this type of market well with no, I mean, really little to no effort on my part leaving from Jackson area yesterday before 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I had booked this load already. But ain't nothing coming out of Florida. You know, Florida play going in, but you can't get nothing coming out. And, you know, at that rate, you know what I'm saying, they got to pay you going in. That's the reason why they paid you to go in. Nah. Nah. You think the broke give a damn you can get something coming up out of here or not? They pay you to come in. They pay you to come in like that at a high price because of geographical location. So you got to understand where you at and what you're doing and what you're doing and where you at. If you really understand what's going on, you understand the reason why Florida, Florida pay real good going in and not so good coming out is because Florida is a peninsula. Word for the day, you guys. Peninsula. It's surrounded by water on three sides. So ain't no being in Alabama and ducking off the Mississippi real quick, two hours away, three hours away, grab some, or ducking off the Georgia real quick, two hours away three hours away in a desperate situation grab some run up to tennessee two three hours you know what i'm saying and do that it ain't none of that jumping off down here only thing you can do is go down to the florida keys and swim some no no <laughs> no it's he howling no man hell no uh, no I ain't say that bro alright but at the same time like I say your geographical location gonna determine a lot because guess what now by that same token going in pay better because you don't have any any outbound routes and everything like that and many options besides going from the south to the north East and West is very limited in Florida. That's not very much ground. So, with that being said, they're going to bust you across your head when it's time to come up out of here. Unless they, uh, unless you make a put some respect on your name. Hmm. The work going to tell off on everybody. So, if the work going to tell off on you and you steady been dealing with these people and you call them and they know you ain't playing no game because you've been like that from day one, they know one thing coming up out of Florida. What normally they'll pay dollar eighty five, two dollar, two dollar twenty cent. I'm talking about in a big truck. Dollar a mile on a partial, eighty five cent on a partial. Been there, stack two of them together, come out there for about a dollar seventy five. Really good. But get what? Did right here. Did right here. What coming up out here? Four and a quarter. Not a quarter. Four in a quarter. Oh, don't mind me. What's up, brother? Yes, sir. And like I said, man, this ain't no trick. This ain't no camera trick. This ain't no edit of uh, no shit that I've been doing a whole week. I, I, I just lie. Big short flatbed or high shot. I got six year LTL drive ass spirit. What's your best startup in your opinion? Big truck, flatbed, or high shot. Hmm. Depending on what you're trying to accomplish, brother. Uh, Big boy, 2XL. Oh, man, my truck coming out of here. If I switch rack, I'm out, I'm out to perform, y'all. I got a bag in. I got to get my mind right. I'm out here chit-chatting, but we still at work. Yeah, he come around the mountain on me. Still on his ass, huh?